respected dear family members my pranams to you indian president honorable sri pranab mukherjee has declared in the national history conference being held in trivandrum that the historical facts the historical research or historical analysis of the history should be done in on an unbiased way rational logical and scientific way should not suppress the facts should not exaggerate the figures or facts but should be unbiased non lenient the truth should be projected and so on but for the last many decades indian history and the indian council of historical research icchr used to be created written analyzed predicted evaluated by a group of leftist the so called intellectual historians from jawaharlal nehru university and those historical facts were taught to the students and those students will be becoming generally the teachers in the next generation and what they got in the leftist and uh, the so called rational radical way of analyzing in the pseudo secularistic way of history that is getting transferred to next generation and the students of that generation will become the teachers of the next generation they will be teaching what they have learned and thus indian history has become the creation of the leftist parties or the atheist parties or the so called progressives so what the real culture of india and who destroyed indian culture and for the last not less than 900 years out of each 650 years how the invaded muslims tortured indians and destroyed indian culture and the temples and other thing got completely wiped out as the historical facts they are not at all existing even the good things done by the invaders were only projected maybe one or two or three good things remaining 97 or 98% of the negatives got completely covered or suppressed so that in the mind of the people only the so called positive of the invaders will be remaining and many a times jawaharlal nehru and his family thought that when if the torture the suffered by the hindus get the projection in the historical facts sometimes in the future hindu may be reacting that will create a revolution in india to avoid that so called pseudo secularism got developed in india the progressive radicals and the communist party intellectuals took the responsibility of writing analyzing evaluating and estimating the so called indian culture with an ultimate focus of suppressing the good of indian culture and projecting the negatives of indian culture thus creating an inferiority complex in the mind of the hindus as targeted by divide and the rule by the britishers so india never got destroyed still india is surviving exclusively because of its inherent cultural strength spiritual strength social strength and so on for the last not less than 70 years indian history means the history written by the communist and the leftist and the jnu professors like romila tapar who already got rejected from the world scenario of historians because they want to create a leftist history of india a so called pseudo secularist history of india suppressing the hindus and hinduism and indian culture and elevating the negatives of what is present in our culture and giving 
way for severe criticism and creating a negative mind towards our culture. And that is what is termed as the Indian history. What the foreigners did up to 1947, August 15th, we the Indian historians started fulfilling the remaining part of it, towards which Indian President Sri Honorable President Pranab Mukherjee said history should be unbiased, scientific, logical, should bring the facts and figures of what happened and why happened. And Indian history cannot be the history of a family member or family tradition of those who are ruling, those who were ruling India for many decades. It should not be the history which can create a positive effect for some family members, but that is what is happening. But Indian history can also not be written like the history of a Bangladesh country, a country like Bangladesh or Sri Lanka or Mauritius, because the culture and the history of Kerala, the cultural and historical aspect of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, Orissa, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Bengal, Gujarat, Rajasthan and so on, they have got so many, many, many millions of positives. If and only if when all these were put together, that only will become the history. But the destruction, the annihilation, the wiping out of Indian temples, Indian culture, Indian palaces by the invaded Muslims and invaded Christians from different countries that never could see the light of history in India. They were all, the invaders glorified, were all glorified in India. And that got penetrated into the mind of the students. So the negative suffered by the Hindus, whether it is in Andaman, Nicobar, Jail, or throughout India, the rule of the Portuguese, the rule of the British, the rule of the Spanish, rule of the French, and so on. And right from Muhammad Ghazni, Ghori, and so on, all these got completely wiped out from the history book of India. Now the history book of India is glorifying the invaders and suppressing the inhabitants of India. That is what the progressives and the communist party people think history. History viewed through their angles, their eyes. They want to gain out of that, suppressing and annihilating and wiping out the Indian culture and putting a flag of their own egoistic, biased, partial viewpoint of Indian history. Anyway, President's message that history should be presented in an unbiased way still carry the weight and value Pranams to you. Thank you very much.